Hello guys and welcome back to No Plan B. Today we'll be going over how to make your own custom mission. Select a fraction. From home, go to mission. Go down to custom missions. Select new mission. Once you're loaded in, you can look up to your left. You have your asset files. This works with any, any asset in the game. Any entity. Let's say I want a tank. I go to APC1. You click and drag it into the game. Sometimes that is a little buggy. Now that it's in, it will automatically bleed to where you can move it in a grid axis. If you push E, you can rotate it. Push R, you can resize it. However you want it. Click on the entity. Above your arrow keys, you can push the delete key to delete it. That works with anything in the game. Anything in here. In mission settings, you can Customize your mission however you want it, duration, all that stuff. If you come over here to walls, you see this building right here. You can go to environment and select whatever you want. Let's say I I want to go to, I want to add a building. I want to add this building right here. I've just added it in. You can resize it how I've showed you. Remodel it, everything you want it. But all these asset files you choose from, choose whatever you want. If we go to game logic, you have all these things you can play around with. Blocked entity spawn, which basically blocks an entrance off. Enemy spawn zones, you can set it how you want it. NPC spawn zones, objectives, repel spawns, character spawns, character reset spots, character spawn and snipe, character window spawn, all this cool stuff. Now if you go to buildings, and you go to walls, you can add in any wall you want. Let's say I want this wall right here. I put it how I, how I want it. If I want to add it into this wall right here, you go to grid. You can snap walls to grid, and now it's snapped in. And you can just add to your building like that, however you want it. Make it your own. If you go to floors, you can add in a floor. Now that you've added in a floor, you can also go to, you can move it how you want it. You can also go to the grid. Snap floors to grid, then it'll snap it to the grid. So I do that. If you would like to save your game or save and test, you can use the help to see the got to see the online guide. Save it, save as, save and test, and publish. After you have completed your game, you can save it and publish your game so other people may play it. Over here you can select how you want your camera to look, or if you push the right mouse button, you can click and drag your camera. Use the WASD to move around, see all your stuff, and that's basically how you create your own map. Have fun!